What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play is the Kingdom of Grand Columbia. And in this episode we have brought up some reinforcements and we have landed to take the city of Boston to try and put some uh, put some threat behind the Americans front line because they are starting to mass. Um, without further ado, let's crack on and attack. I'd like to try and minimise losses so I can try and push troops up to Falmouth and then potentially threaten Albany as well. Um, yeah, I can't. I don't want to take too many losses because I've got about four thousand seven hundred in cash to replenish my army, which should be enough, which will be enough, really. But ideally, I'd like to try and repair the governor's barracks this turn, so the next turn it's ready for me to recruit troops from, because then I could just start churning out extra infantry behind the American front rank, rather than relying on Florida to provide that manpower. The enemy has no artillery, they have limited cavalry, their infantry is not great. We have a significant advantage in firepower. So I'm not looking to kill them all, I am looking to... I'm looking to make them retreat, effectively. Just break and run. Get my militia force on the right flank, my skirmishers and grenadiers on the left. My general's going to get involved. Interesting, they do not. Okay, they are coming at us. And they do have a Curacy Air Force. So then all of my artillery is focusing them. To be honest, just just halt and try and get some shots in. Seven, drop my man to square. Commit my light cavalry to counter charge. Put my militia into the line in their place. Because you need a rangers, they're taking a lot of fire. Get my howitzers dropping shells on the far side. Regular artillery concentrate fire on the 18th Regiment of Line. Retarget my. redeploy my militia. Get my cavalry to run through the line to pursue the routing enemy. Get all my artillery to concentrate on this flank. Storm storm up. So you have to charge, charge the native Bowman Auxiliary. Form these men up. Big morale collapse on this flank. Even advance with prejudice. Take these two units, form a reserve, fire it will off. They were looking at charging, but it's the artillery fire. Artillery fire pushed them away. Destroy shatter the bowmen.
push up. I don't know, if I can get all my artillery to immediately fire at the irregulars, we might be able to make them break almost immediately. Storm up to the next line. There you go, the long rifleman. Good! Excellent. Very swift. Minimal losses. <coughs> so it means we have less. We have a smaller budget to replenish the army. A smaller demand to replenish the army. Oh, 400. Delicious. Let's replenish the military academy. Let's or repair the military academy. Let's repair the port. Don't do anything else. So I'm going to want to... Eh, actually, let's repair the cannon foundry. Let's not do that yet. Just a second, guys. Okie dokie, so... Preparados. Make sure you're completely replenishing. You're replenished. Let's see... I want to see what the impact of this attack was on the enemy. See if it will force them to either consolidate or expand. Let's hit enter. Hey, this gun sounds I can send a smaller force to go secure Albany. Lots of smaller units. They, they're more than happy to... Ah, oh, I should have got rid of that university. Big mistake. Or at least put it to work. They raided it for me at least. So it won't be giving me... Negative public order penalties. They want a trade agreement and an alliance. I will not give you an alliance, but what about just trade? Do you just? Fine. Don't trade with me then. I have no interest in getting embroiled in a European war in my current state. Here comes the Austrian... Well, a, a Austrian ship. Oh, and another. Austria is still on the march, but I'm unsure. They must be allied with Britain, because then they managed to easily get through that territory. I am uncomfortable with the French expansion. Um, it's going to be somewhat inevitable to be at war with France, because they are going to have a... Well, they are eventually going to take issue with our expansion on the continent. But then a really important priority will be to rebuild the navy that I lost. But nevertheless, the key priority is to expand and destroy the United States. And then eventually we will have to go to war with the French Empire. But not yet. 20,000. That's a good amount. That's what I was hoping to do. Was take... Something like a squad... A force like this. A force like that, and then... Slowly bulk it out. Poof. Ah, oh, that's just a bit, bit, yeah, a bit, a bit much. Let's grow my force out. Let's try and not have so many militia around. It looks like the Americans are not interested in redeploying, which isn't terrible because it means that these guys will have, they will have some freedom. Let's. Let's actually spend two turns preparing another small force to land somewhere else. I'm at 10,000. So I want to keep up my desire to boost one port per turn. Well, ultimately, it's going to have to end up being one port and one road, and eventually we will have our entire 
network upgraded. I think the only things I'm going to be able to build are probably the farms up here. Hey, the government building. Not so bothered about the National Observatory. Let's hit in turn. No. No Spain. No bueno. Are they gonna... Oh no! That's a much better outcome <laughs> than what could have happened. Holy moly. That, that could have gone really bad. <laughs> Be still, my fluttering heart. Okay, but that's one full stack taken away from the front line. So now we're going to do another uh, one-two knockout punch against the American front line. Because Boston is now... They are now focused on defending themselves from an American siege. France is going to invade us somewhere. Yeah, France is going to cause problems. I know Boston does not have any defences, but it will just be a... Plant your, plant your feet in the ground and shoot the hell out of them. The Americans, that is, as they come in. And keep recruiting reinforcements. Because we're going to need them. Curacao isn't a bad... Well, it's a valuable region, so I would still say no. But to be fair, the AI is giving... Is trying to make really good offers. If it was the Windward Islands or the Leeward Islands, for example, I might do it. But th that's props to the AI. You know what? Those are enticing offers. So I'm not going to try to fortify the town. Lots of native troops. Keep you guys back. To be honest, here at Williamsburg, you need to be churning them out as well. And let's get another... See, let's get a third-rate ship of the line. Because we can't afford loads of ships. There you go, San Damaso. Si, senor. If I take you, for example... Su la a las armas. You can siege Annapolis. Then Mr. Serrano can engage Riley Whitefield. Let us engage Riley Whitefield. Get ready to push them north. Then we'll take Annapolis. Then using the two new units that occur that have been recruited in Williamsburg, we're going to uh, reorganize our armies, con combine depleted troops, and then reinforce with fresh ones. Yeah, cracking. Bad luck about the rain. Heavy artillery. Stay the high ground for safety. Oh, it says you're going to get ready to open up. My infantry is not entirely, entirely replenished, but it's pretty good. Grenadiers on the right flank. Frontiersmen on the left. Light cavalry on the flanks. Okay. So the enemy has lots of. Oh, they're already charging. To be honest, I might just unlimber my horse, I'll tell you where it is. thing is I wanted my new men 
Grenadiers detach and support the combat. I mean, they're definitely coming for you guys, so just hunker down. This formation, keep on pushing. Horse artillery. There we go. Now they're put their pushing forward. Maintain the square but try and kill as many as you can. Shattered. New men push into the 1st Regiment. Push to the high ground but use my Frontiersmen to provide a devastating blanking fire component. Grenadiers, get over here. Chop down these light dragoons. Light artillery engage the 9th regiment, point blank range. New men are going to push up onto the flank. Because it's raining, we're getting vanilla sounds, which sound rubbish. Line infantry regiments pushing. Swing my cavalry in to go after their artillery. Right, another of my line units in. Frontiersmen maintain the line of contact. The shot's going to knock some holes in my men's lines. Grenadiers, charge. Okay, you men knock out the guns. That regiment of line have been shattered. Push up. My frontiersmen up, start skirmishing with the 11th regiment, and start bombarding them with our artillery. Grenadiers get in, dragoons go after the first grenadier regiment. This cavalry is going to potentially cause itself a bit more damage than desired, just to make sure we get the enemy artillery. Mr. Serrano, commit yourself against the enemy infantry that's trying to run away. Reform the line. Grenadiers, get up on the flank and fire some devastating shots into them. I think all my artillery is just going to try and engage the 11th, hiding behind their barriers. Both these cavalry units engage the grenadiers. There goes the second regiment of grenadiers. Push forward. Push forward. You can try and attack. Yeah, stay away from the Hessian line. Concentrate on the grenadiers. Once my grenadiers open up, I hope that break has broken them. Excellent. Keep my colonial cav away. for these two units. My general's about to get wiped out by friendly artillery fire. The 11th regiment is wavering. Second grenadier regiment are being cut down like dogs. When my line gets into position, yeah, they have to abandon the square to maintain some level of fire.
kill the their volunteers. 19th Regiment, you're reloading. 11th are reloading. 30th are firing. Yeah, this is just a weird. Oh yeah, I don't. I guess it must just be some someone over the years the update made. Sometimes it feels like it works, but it's probably just potluck. Whoa! Forgot about their native warriors. Grenadiers fall back. Fall back. Fall back. Artillery, concentrate for all your firepower. They've sucked the new grenadiers. The grenadiers are going to have to stay there while the artillery forms and does their job. There you go. Native War Auxiliary Unit gone. Grenadiers gone. My light cavalry is very upset. Recommit! Cease artillery fire. Oh, the Hessian line came back as well. That's a bummer. Shoot them. Oh, they routed. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Speed up time. Ooh. I did want to carry on. I'm glad gave me the choice. Cease artillery fire. I'm not going to get nearly as many kills as we'd like, but... Just fly through the middle. Just fly through. Run through the middle of them. Try to kill as many as you can. You might actually get to kill that native unit. Six men routing. Is that all of them? That looks like all of them. Down to five. Three, two, one. Got him. That could have unhinged me. But then again, that's a prime example of why I was concerned about um, fighting a battle with or playing a campaign as the Native Americans when the morale goes their morale goes you know there is no salvaging it there's no you know oh don't worry this will be okay it's, oh no they're all dead that's it's not good at all okay let's combine troops There's no point in merging them together, but that's two spaces. Excellent. So now you're within range of Annapolis. So that'll bring in the Annapolis garrison. Plus the Baltimore garrison. Plus maybe this guy, this unit of Continental Marines. And then suddenly they may be looking a bit sparse on the ground. Let's resist the temptation to upgrade this craft workshop let's take you I mean yeah it's drawing in all it's drawing in this army this army this army and the continental marines way at the back I mean this is this is the the force that we've just fought so they're all incredibly weak let's get to it I am tempted to bombard them for a while and see how the what the exchange ratio starts to look like if I can force them to attack me that'd be great and um, oh yeah I forgot to mention another benefit of pushing north is that through taking Boston like I said we have got that university so we have doubled our research capacity so now we can start to choose we don't have to choose between war and economy we can have war and economy The best gun 
positions look over here. Look like they are over here. Let's try and deploy more on the right if our guns are on the left. My grenadiers can stay down here to provide a bit of cover. Let's see what the enemy deployment looks like before we go too crazy and see where their reinforcements come in from. Howitzers engage, foot artillery engage their line. Got one gun team. These men look like they're going to they want to charge my grenadiers. Hold your fire. Third regiment of forces riding to, to a glorious death. Fire! Not a single kill for all that musketry. Let's commit my actual grenade, commit my actual cavalry into this fight. Artillery is just smashing home. Ooh, excellent shots. There it is. Cease fire. Reform the line. Completed regiment of horse on the right flank. Shatter that regiment of dragoons. Still coming. Go on. A good volley into them. Follow that with a tomahawk charge. There's the Continental Marines. Let's see if we can somewhat surround them. Dun, 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 dun. We are going to push up. Girl, we've got lots of cavalry on the left. I was hoping I'd have won that engagement by now, but charge the Com Center Marines just to throw them off balance. Fall back. Actually, you might pursue that those dismounted dragoons. Grenadiers, fire at will. Of warrior auxiliary coming in. Exceptionally devastating cavalry charge there, sir. Retarget my foot artillery. I mean, 
they're all shattered, so let's just pull my cavalry back and move. Actually, you carry on into the Hessian line. There's not much of them. Let's get one Howard to start popping off shots against the Continental Marines. There's even full units of native war auxiliary running in the face of one unit of cavalry. Advance! There we go, chase down and destroy that Hessian line. There's only one of them. Chase down the Continental Marines. Get my general out here. We're doing some serious mopping up. Yeah, you go stop shooting at stuff and just keep on getting out the way because you're about to get shot. my cavalry just to do this, this sweeping up and then the rest of my line just uh, stoically advanced like the immortal souls you are. And some more enemy reinforcements. You've only got a dozen native or auxiliary to knock out. Push the cavalry around the flank. Bring some of this cavalry back. We get twelve. Twelve colonials to wipe out. They're charging. They are trying to charge us. These are my grenadiers, you fools. They love a good scrap. And these men may reload. Oh, they're, in a de they're in a bit of a defilade, though. Oh no, they're still... Counter charge! So Conton the Dragoons are against the Jammer's Bodyguard, you men go after the mercenaries. See, this is why you have to pursue. There's a regiment of militia behind our lines. Kill your regulars. Kill the general. My general's doing some important diplomatic work.
dropping artillery on us, but we eh, not really that bothered about it. There we go, we've got the enemy general. Switch the artillery fire against 3rd Regiment. general might be a bit of a trooper because he's gonna looks like he might hold off quite a lot of, uh, of my cavalry killed the bowman right now we've got a disproportionate amount of troops fighting on the left and we want them on the right now So you men push up here. Everyone else, get up there. I mean, the as soon as the native warriors rocked up, they were doomed. chase down that artillery. So you've charged into the native troops, you're going to charge into them, my general is also going to charge into them. Make sure my artillery is focusing on something else. General's bravely ridden in to save the day. Excellent. You may have one more gun team to kill. Uh, you got him. You two units are dispatched to deal with the guerrilla mercenaries. These units form a new line. These are volunteers, which look like armed citizenry. You can try and hold. How it's just kind of limber because they're going to be out of the picture. general. Wipe them out. I suppose the native war auxiliary oh, go for the regulars, there's not that many of them left. Yeah, you better run. Retreat! And the first regiment of artillery is gone as well, leaving behind their precious guns. continue it just briefly because it won't last very long otherwise can't kill the gunners so they're all gone this infantry is going to escape as well oh you're so close but still annapolis is ours and we've did we've blown a huge la hole in their line Back to Philadelphia you go, you swine. So this might take a bit of... Yeah, it's within our budget. So you men advance, ready to push towards Philadelphia. Then we've got 1400, which what can we do with you? Recruit some militia to garrison Charleston. Charleston's still pretty Protestant. You're pretty Catholic, or Catholic already. 
So once you convert Charleston, it'll be up to Williamsburg and Annapolis and so on and so on and so on. Those would be quite enticing to capture if we can. We may end up combining our own second and third and two fourths outside of Luz, force them out, capture both these vessels, and then bring them into our service. But if I was America, I'd be pretty concerned right now. They've got territory to the west. Yeah, they're building their strength. And see, suddenly Boston's the one that looks vulnerable. But you know what? I could handle that, because Boston will take an absolute kick in. All the while, we're going to push up, take Philadelphia, which means they're going to be absolutely skinned. Again, no to the Alliance, yes to Trado. I am not interested in military alliances with Europeans. The French have rebelled against the British. The French have rebelled against the British. The Spanish have rebelled against the French. So now we're back to where we were. In some ways good, some ways bad. I would have liked if Britain took on more of the continent. Because I haven't seen... Actually, I can't remember the last time I've seen Britain actually become a superpower of sorts. It's normally... Uh... I suppose they normally capture it fairly early on. Because it's a fantastic little island. Lots of ports. Very economically wealthy. Good cities. Lots of towns. There's a lot of reasons to like invading Britain and Empire Total War. Persian fleet. Are they going to immediately die? No. Oh, I was curious. So the Prussians have got... Amsterdam surrounded. They've captured Brussels. So maybe they're at war with the French. Maybe they have declared war on the French. There's flying shuttle researched. So go straight on to... I mean, you might just keep walking down the... Walking down the... Uh political route, maybe. Six turns for puddling furnace, eight turns for seed planting drill. If we get a socket bayonet, we can build a military academy, which will give us lots of, well, some more heavy cavalry options. Or one heavy cavalry option. Like the last building, and once we get all of our technologies, we've actually got quite a lot of things you can recruit. But for now, I think I do want to keep boosting my economy. Yes, you're ready for deployment. 19,000. Port upgrade. Road upgrade. I said we need to keep this. I want to keep this going. One port, one road. Every turn. And you're going to recruit a third. You're going to recruit fourth. 6,400. That's another stack of troops we've got ready. Now they, now they definitely don't want to attack us. And we could, if anything, push out. Although Boston would be vulnerable to these two armies pushing in from the north. So still inclined to say no. You're going to put Philadelphia under siege. You could potentially take it, but I want you to replenish. We're not going to evict these guys out of lose just yet. You're going to push up to Annapolis. You probably don't need to... Yeah, one more unit of recruitment is okay. I want to get a bit of replenishment done. You're still exporting everything. Oh, no, you're not. You're not exporting sugar. So port is at capacity. So let's get this port as well. You're probably getting cotton from Savannah. You 
think Charleston's probably... Yeah, look, Charleston is 32 bales aren't being exported because they've got nowhere to export it to. So they either need their own port developing, which, which will happen in 15 turns, or Savannah to have a port develop, but that will take a while because it's not growing. Williamsburg doesn't need, don't need any towns to grow, so even though we can upgrade the farm, no, we may as well upgrade it. Actually, what I can do... Vamos! En marcha! Take these men. En marcha! Sail them out to Boston. Sail you out of the way a minute. Because you can take position at Caracas as guard ship. This army deploy out to Boston. This army push out. This force go in. Because I recruited all those guys. I forgot about that. And you strike south against John Sullivan. Oh. Lots of depleted troops. And lots of hidden native troops. Let's go get them. Yeah, I think this. I think we can say the Americans are going to be imminently knocked out. And then our our eyes will turn towards westward expansion. Got a lot of French territory to take. Got some native troops eligible for liberation as well. Deploy the foot artillery. Deploy the howitzers. Dissimilar infantry wing on the right. So we are aware they've got a sizable hidden native infantry contingent. We are going to advance slowly so that they will advance towards us. Put artillery, engage the marines, engage line infantry. Howitzers do a bit of counter battery, but another unit of howitzers bombard their provincial cavalry, and that has provoked an assault. I've killed my militia, they are wavering. Infantry line run. So let's see what happens if I target someone else with howitzers. Yeah. No. They're bunkering in around the chapel. Concentra Marines are running in, they don't want to get shelled. So they're going to run to their doom. They're going after me, Frontiersmen. Which makes complete sense from their perspective, but yeah. Begin to advance on the right flank. Bearing in mind there may be natives around here. I 
Ah, I spotted him. Fall back. Cavalrymen. Okay, push up, take the ground. So I'm pretty sure those long riflemen. Yeah, they are charging. Bold of them indeed. It's pretty because they aren't skirmishers, they're not good melee troops. Push in. Okay, let's retarget my artillery against this cluster of troops center. So I'm fairly sure this flank's going to fold. Kill the musketmen, you men. Kill the infantry. The natives are managing to hold on. Jammer's bodyguard, run away! You then push in, give your general some help. Kill the long riflemen. We could have spread this out a bit more efficiently. Charging in native warriors. Two units sandwich into them. Okay, the new men push forward and form a bit of a flying V. General's bodyguard back here. Where's the other cavalry unit? Light cav, chase down by the line infantry. Form up. You men charge into the rear of the mercenaries. General charge into the rear of the native warrior auxiliary. They're chewing these men up. There we go. Some horse action in the back door, and they're not happy at all. We've killed the enemy's enemy general. You men eviscerate. These mercenaries. We're probably not going to try and exterminate everyone, but my god, this has not gone the way they wanted it to. Form ranks. I should just charge my cavalry on into the native warriors, they're already wavering. Actually, yeah, let's make sure we... Let's kill as many as we can. Slaughter them! 
you're getting as many of them as you can. Try going for the irregulars. Oh, that's the gun crew. They're a good kill. Got him. Handful of musketmen auxiliary. A bunch of my infantry are chasing people, but nah. There we go. Yeah, they're definitely going to escape. My men are eager, but not eager enough. Close victory. That wasn't close. That was a good victory. The enemy have been just blown apart. 456 men remaining. Go put Albany under siege. You haven't got to worry about Boston. Boston's going to look after itself. Come at me. With all of your generals. See, so you've got the Iroquois Confederacy. They'll have to go. Who are they allied with, though? Portugal and the Huron. Could cause problems down the line, but uh, not for not not for now. Actually, let's see if we can start trading with Portugal. They offered to give me Espanola for eighty nine grand. That's a really good trade deal, but I'm still not going to do it. Naples. I don't want an alliance. I'll give you a tech for trade. Yeah, sure. Hello, Russia. We're very friendly. Good. Hello, United Provinces. What do you want to trade now? No technology to offer you. Very well, sir. So then it's only Genoa. No, I'm not giving you any territory. No, 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 no. But I think this is going to be a good time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the capture of Philadelphia, and we are well on the way towards the destruction of the American faction. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. See you next time.